Welcome. Uh, it's the Coquitlam Public Library, the City Center branch. My name is Todd Ganisius, uh, Executive Director of the Library. Uh, we have two wonderful locations, one up on the Poye area and of course this one at the City Center area. And we have uh, a lot of streaming material. So as we know, uh, there's a proliferation of streaming options out there and it gets very, very expensive to try and access all of the different types of uh, information and uh, recreational movies and series that are out there. So we actually have three products. One is Canopy. Canopy is uh, pretty much art films uh, and older films and they stream directly through your device onto your TV or through your device. Uh, it is completely free through your library card. You just connect through an app, use your library card, and you can watch those uh, films through your computer, through your device, or stream it directly into uh, your smart TV. Uh, we also have another product called uh, Cloud Library. We have, through Cloud Library, about 74,000 uh, different eBooks and uh, streaming audio. Uh, through that particular product. Again, they download to whatever device you have. Unfortunately, Amazon does not support libraries in Canada, so you have to use a, um, a tablet or a uh, supported e-reader, but Kindles do not work. But other than that, all the other devices work with our cloud library platform, and you can download and read books anywhere in the world with your library card. And then the final one I want to talk about is Hoopla. Hoopla is a very, very powerful tool, uh, similar to some of the uh, major streaming that goes out there. This one has m movies, series, educational products, such as great stories. Um, and it also has comic books and, e and audio books and numerous other material. It is a very, very powerful tool, has hundreds and hundreds of thousands of uh, items on that particular platform. Again, streams all through your uh, uh, through your whatever device you have, you download the app using your library card, you can connect, and all of that streams free. The only restriction is um, we do put a limit on the number of items you can borrow, primarily for cost, but it is there and it resets every month. So please use those uh, tools. They are very, very, very good. A uh, couple of other things I wanted to talk about is our what we call our family technology. So one of the things that libraries try and do is educate people on what's coming down. And so we have purchased, um, one of the big things we're doing right now is teaching young people uh, how to code. And so one of the things we've purchased is something called an Ozobot, which is literally a golf ball sized robot that you program using felt pens. And using different colors, it tells, it tells the robot what it's supposed to do. And it teaches, you know, five, six, and seven-year-old young people the logic around coding. Uh, we lend those out, and you can put a hold on them. They're currently very popular. Uh, and they're available to teach young people how to code and start them on that logic thinking that is what uh, uh, robots do. We then have something called spheros. They're quite a bit larger, about four inches in diameter. And you program those through a tablet or some kind of a mobile device. And those work in 3D. So you can make them climb, you can make them go around obstacles, and again, it's teaching them logic. And then finally, one of the, ne one of the newest things that we've added is telescopes. So uh, you can borrow telescopes. We put the books in there. We also have online training. And uh, through our website, we have some additional information on what to look for in the sky. And it's a way of getting a family together at night and look at the asteroids through uh, these telescopes. And you gain, you can put a hold on them, take them home, and use them on your home with all the instructions there. They're a pretty interesting way of learning about what's in the sky. And then the final thing I want to bring up today is our digitization station. It's up at the Poye branch. This is a tool for all of those, all of you who have old um, eight-track uh, cassettes, um, uh, video of all different uh, types, um, uh, slides, photographs that you can't access anymore or you want to digitize. We have a digitization station that allows you to self uh, process all of this material and turn it into a digital format so you can keep it forever or uh, exchange it with um, your friends, your family, and people all around the world by just putting them onto a uh, digital format. So these are some very powerful tools that uh, we're providing to the community and we're hoping that you could take part in all of the things that we're offering. If you have any questions, please come into any of our locations, give us a call, check us out on our website, and all the information is there. coqlibrary.ca. Thank you.